<laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Loose Bar Reviews, where we are going to talk about Greece this time. Greece is represented by Amanda Georgiadi Tenfjord, and the song is called Die Together. So, this time I want Sara to start. <laughs> and, uh, I know that you love the song with your uh, whole heart, so let's <laughs> with some positivity. <laughs> Okay. Um I was thinking about what what to say about Greece why where we are we were connected. Um I mean um this song is a good ballad. I like her voice. I think that uh, the song is a good song thanks to her voice. I mean you can you can hear that she puts all her, her all her emotions into the song. So she really sings it with the, all uh, all the heart mm -hmm. and uh, I like this I think that live it will be pleasant to to watch and to listen to um, I think that uh, I mean I have issues with the musical part let's say I think that it's mm -hmm. too slow I mean the melody and the musical part in general are not that that great let's say Uh, but she manages to deliver the song and the emotions. Maybe also the lyrics are, um, I mean, maybe it's uh, unpopular, what, uh, the, the thing that I'm going to say, but also the lyrics are maybe not uh, very appropriate for the historical period we are living in. Some people can find it a little bit, um, I don't know. Uh, but uh, as I always uh, like the fact that uh, she puts all uh, her emotions into the song and, uh, uh, and it makes the song very emotional. Can and, I but, Can I quickly yeah. speak well, Yeah, I mean, of, of course. course. The song is about a love story. Like, yeah, I know, I know. Talking but, about um, the lover and yeah. The but software. I read some comments about the, the mm -hmm. title. Yeah, yeah, some let's, some let's, fans that uh, are um, a little bit, you know, uncertain about the, this title. Uh, but uh, talking about the song, I like her. I like her voice uh, less the the music part and the um, I mean the melody and all this stuff. And uh, uh, it's too slow for me. I mean, they are in uh, in the first semi final, which is good for them because in the first semi final it's a little bit uh, easier. Let's say we have less favorites from the first semi final. Um, they will perform like pretty late, 15th. Yeah, 15th. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, this can help them somehow, but uh, um, yeah, I mean, I don't have much to say. It's uh, not um, among my favorites, even though I can appreciate some, some things about the song, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, Green. The song has grown on me a lot over the last couple of days. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's definitely a Skander pop. It's not necessarily a Greek song. So she's really sort of clutching her Norwegian roots there as well. So it's a Skander pop, sort of borderline Nordic noir. And I know that when I said that the other day, you guys were like, what is that? So Nordic noir is like this atmospheric down kind of tone, kind of yeah kind of almost depressive dark kind of music so it's kind of borderline on that um her vocals are really amazing i i really like her voice it has like a really sort of interesting quality to it mm. um and as i said the song just keeps growing on me um it does need a massive staging in the sense that it needs to be really like well thought out because she will get lost very easily in a staging that's either too big and too busy or not enough. Um, as Sarah said before, she's in semi-final one and 15th. So she's sandwiched between Iceland and Norway. So there's um, kind of a, a scanty block there. <laughs> and I think coming after Iceland will actually work in her favor because I think that Iceland can be quite polarizing. People either really like it or they really don't. So I think that um, that might work a little bit in her favor. Um, I have her as 28th at, at the moment in my personal list. So, I mean, that's quite a way down there. Um, probably if you ask me again in another couple of days, it'll, it would have snuck up a bit because as I said, it's really growing on me. She's fifth in the books at the moment. 
So, yes. I mean, that's huge. And I think part of that is the whole like Greek, you know, Greece at Eurovision mania kind of like, you know, traditionally there's quite a lot of um, uh, momentum behind Greece or Greek fans like to, you know, you know, there's a lot of them. So I think that might have something to do with it because I, I certainly don't think that this is the fifth best song that we have. Um, yeah, so that's, that's basically... Um, Basically what I think. <laughs> yeah, we're probably reflecting a minority of the fandom, which mm. doesn't really enjoy the song that much. I mean, we appreciate the song, but we don't love the song. Well, I like it. I might get to love. I, I, I mean, but I mean, this kind of but style... But don't love is... the song, right? No, no, not on first listen. But this I kind mean, of it's like a song that you music do. Yeah. is such a small thing. So if you're not used to it, if you have never heard the style before, it just doesn't, it doesn't necessarily speak to you, I guess. I mean, it's, for example, for me, it's also like 25 fish in my yeah. personal ranking. Um, <laughs> Even better. <than> that. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I see this, I, I see this song as a two-part song right the second part i that could even be like my 15th for example in my ranking i really feel it i really love it but the first part takes all the magic magic away of the song because mm -hmm. i hate this vocoder thing you know that robotic voice in the first yeah. part why wouldn't you put any music and just a robotic voice i don't get it it's also <laughs> annoying. i mean it's, i'm being I'm being totally honest, because um, this is where we are honest about the songs, the reviews. And it just annoys me. But the second part of the song, it has a really cute flow to it. When, yeah. when yeah. we die together. I mean, it's really yeah. catchy. And also, the flow is also enjoyable. And as you said, she has she has such a, you know, rich tone. Like, it's, yeah. um, it's characteristic, almost. Um, and she has also this aura around her, you know, that I really like. I don't know if it's the Nordic energy, I don't know, but it just, it's just cute and it adds something to the song and that I love. And also, um, she's also probably trying to get into the Greek music scene. So I don't think she will let this flop on the stage um uh, you know greece doesn't have a have the best track record of uh putting on amazing shows last year technologically they gave us an amazing show although that didn't really work out maybe in the end but the idea and the technology was there but that didn't fit the song like the song was giving something else the staging was giving something else they didn't really mm -hmm. match up but separately they were good on their own whereas i mean this year we also have a good song um so they need to complement that with a good staging and yeah. they don't really need to go that far like last year they just need to keep this simple but yeah. also um also create a magical atmosphere um but the, the the thing is whether you feel the magic i at the moment cannot but i hope that the staging will help and i also uh, think fifth being fifth in the betting odds cannot fully depend on the song i agree on that because mm -hmm. this is not the best fifth best song of the year um yeah I want to disagree with something that Sara said. I think this, um, e either in either semi, regardless of the running order, will uh, qualify. <laughs> and we can actually talk about the qualification chances. I don't think like the running order is bringing or taking away any chances. Um, this is probably one of the sure qualifiers. Uh, I want to quickly say that. And we can actually start talking about the qualification right now. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's also a sure qualifier for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, looking at the, the semi-final, yeah, I mean, they have many chances <laughs> to qualify. I mean, from the second semi-final, I would say no. They are in the first, maybe yes. Yeah. Okay, interesting. That's, yeah. a, that's a different take from uh, our two. Yeah. 
Tu's opinion. Okay, let's also give our scores to Greece. Um, mm -hmm. Sara started, and let's hear from you, Sara. Yeah, I gave uh, a five. I mean, mixing my objective and subjective opinion. I mean, it's uh, um, it's not a song that I listen to on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, you know that. And uh, but uh, on the other hand, I mean, it's not that bad. And uh, I hope for the live performance. Because uh, I mean, I I'm waiting to be uh, surprised by Greece, so mm -hmm. I'll be waiting uh, in the um, uh, during the first uh, the first show. Uh, mm -hmm. So I hope that they will improve with the so if they mess with the staging, they they will lost among the the other songs, mm -hmm. in my opinion. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mix the my my two opinions, and yeah, it's a five. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rin. Okay, so um, I have started listening to this on a daily basis, shockingly. Um, <laughs> it was, I think the issue was, and you touched on it perfectly before, Khan, that the song is a song of two halves. So the first half, I'd never gotten past that. And then I forced myself, like last week, to listen to the whole song. And I was like, oh, hang on. <laughs> this, is yeah, actually, right? yeah. this is actually quite good. So it has become a song that I listen to on a daily basis. Um, my score was seven out of 10, mm -hmm. but I would probably, if you asked me today, I'd probably go up a little bit higher, 7.5 or maybe even an eight. Well, <laughs> you are very generous. <laughs> I'm making myself cough with that comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, my score was a 6.5 with the tendency to seven. Um, you know, 6.5 because personally it's not among my personal favorites and i have to stay true to myself um, um objectively many people like this i cannot write that off um betting out fifth place i mean that's that gives hope about a good result um therefore i mean i left a room for improvement it could go up to to the uh to eight level as you said um so let's see but right now i'm I'm staying true to myself, let's say, and 6.5. Um, our average score, though, is neither a 5, nor a 6.5, nor a 7, because it's 7.833, wow. like Finland, at the same score as Finland. And this song has the first 10 of the season. Wow. Exactly. Roma gave this a Roma. 10, and... And let me guess, I, I gave the lowest co score. I mean, let me guess. <laughs> I bet. Well, uh, that's, that's an accurate guess. Yeah. <laughs> so let's quickly go through the scores. Andrzej gave this at 9.5, almost a 10. Um, mm -hmm. I gave no. seven, it a 6.5, Rin 7, Sara 5, Dennis 9, and Roma 10. Yeah. And the average score is a 7.833, equal point with yes. Finland. Exactly. So that was the, that was the third uh, episode of our reviews. We are now moving on to the last episode of the night, which is Ireland. And yeah, stay tuned. See you. See you shortly. Bye. Bye.